All right, just how windy was it out there today? We want you to check out Carolina Cruz's live report during our five o'clock news. Check this out. She was outside the Jackson County Jail. And look how windy it was. This is actually a lot harder than it looks, but Carolina able to keep her composure despite all that wind. Wow. Man, was it roaring today, Gary? I mean, my gosh. You know, it really was. And then you get into the downtown area and you take that strong wind and then you shove it in between the buildings. And sometimes it can be even worse. You know, we had 50 mile plus per hour wind gusts across much of the area. And sometimes that Venturi effect within the city can bump that up to 55 or even 60 mile per hour wind. So again, a windy, windy day today. Bordner Home Improvement City came and it's still breezy out at this hour. Tomorrow, I'd call it more of a stout or brisk breeze. It will be coming in from the opposite direction coming in out of the north, but already we still have some pretty substantial winds. 31 mile an hour gust in Odessa. Kansas City officially a 37 mile an hour gust, 43 Lawrence, 41 Atchison. So again, these numbers are getting smaller, but only somewhat. These numbers haven't changed much, still in the mid 60s temperature wise across most of the area, low 60s to the east. Marshall, Missouri, the first of the cities to dip into the 50s right now at 59 degrees, but 65 is the official reading. South winds still at 28 miles per hour. Wind gusts still topping 30 from time to time. And uh, right now it looks like a pretty mild remainder of the overnight. In fact, we start the day at 48 degrees. Step out of the house and the winds will be out of the north then, but we're just starting to get into the cool air. So you might think 48 degrees is pretty nice morning. And it is, but keep in mind, it's not going to improve much on that. 49 at 9, not much of an improvement there at all. 54 at noon and 58 degrees at 4 o'clock. We're only gaining 10 degrees on the entire day tomorrow. And a look at your Tuesday more hour by hour with sky conditions. You can see here partly cloudy skies all the way through 7 p.m. And there's your daytime high at 58, only lasting at that briefly before dipping down to 53 at about 7 o'clock. So jackets necessary. And this cool weather is just getting started tomorrow, Wednesday, 52. A chance for frost in the morning on Wednesday. A hard freeze setting up at 28 degrees Thursday morning. But Thursday is opening day. And it's also the first day after the cold snap that it begins to warm up a little bit. Live power Doppler radar is quiet close to home. That front that's producing all of this cool air is really a dry one. Typically in the springtime, you get these 20 degree cold fronts and they usually make storms, but not this go around. A little light rain may catch southern Missouri, but not really as, a, as an effect of that uh, cold front. And then it's quiet. And I mean really quiet until maybe a sprinkle or two pops up next Monday. So again, if your uh, lawn is needing uh, water, it's not going to catch it from Mother Nature. In fact, a very dry week ahead of us. Maybe not a bad time to kind of work up the garden a little bit. At least it's not going to be muddy. It should be nice and dry for the rest of the week. 58 degrees Tuesday, 52 Wednesday, and then back to 58 Thursday. Then off to the races we go. 69, almost 70. Friday will be in the 70s easily. Saturday, Easter Sunday's looking good. And Monday, we could hit 80 degrees. So let's check out that opening day forecast on Thursday. Keep in mind, it's going to be really cold in the morning. So that first step out the door will be 28 degrees. We gained 30 degrees on the day, 58 at 310. That is still plenty cool enough for jackets out at the K. Long sleeves at the very least. Southeast winds at less than 10 miles per hour. Light winds, sunshine, temperatures in the 50s. That Royals forecast is looking fantastic. And looking ahead to the weekend, the Royals will still be playing and in much warmer weather too. Now guys, that looks like baseball weather to me with highs Saturday and Sunday in the 70s. All right, thank you, Gary.